Hey guys. Okay, so I just wanted to make this quick video because we, I've been seeing that all these people have been doing these Foster Grant reading glasses. Michelle's Frugal Living is the one who discovered this glitch. As always, she is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put a link to her um, YouTube channel in my description box. Okay, so the, the deal is at the store is the Foster Grant reading glasses are part of this um, buy one get one half off sale and they're also part of the buy two and get $15 up reward deal okay so if you don't have that $5 diabetes booklet coupon that you see sitting over there all you need to do is go to the pharmacy or to the checkout counter tell them you would like to sign up for the diabetes wellness club they're going to need your card and they're going to scan this right here right all right so if they scan that Okay, then just say, hey, uh, can I get the diabetes um, packet, you know, and then um, they can just get it from the pharmacy. There's a coupon book in there, and there's a coupon in there for $5 off uh, Foster Grant reading glasses, okay? So, the deal with the glitch is, when you buy two, you get a $15 up reward, but when you buy three, it's triggering the next $15 up reward. So even though you're not buying four, you're going to get back two $15 up rewards, okay? Because that third Foster Grant reading glasses is just triggering the $15 up, okay? So here's the deal. Three of the glasses are $9.99 a piece. It's buy one, get one half off. So two are going to be $9.99. One's going to be $4.98. That's bringing you to about $25, okay? I just rounded it up because it was easier that way, okay? You're going to use that $5 diabetes booklet coupon. It's going to bring you down to 20 like 20 bucks, like $19.96, okay? I added on the Cadbury egg, um, one, because I might be using it myself and I have a $20 up reward that I earned yesterday. And two, I'm not sure if they count um, those extra those extra cents, you know what I mean? Like, because we're trying to earn the winter reward and I'm not sure if you have like $19.96 if they're gonna count that 96 cent toward your next dollar. So I added in that Cadbury egg. Um, it's getting close to Easter, so it's a great um, opportunity to start adding in little items that you can use for Easter. And also, it'll ensure that you get that extra dollar. Okay, now like I said, it's $24.96 um, before that $5 Diabetes Club booklet coupon. I'm not sure if that will count. Um, I'm pretty sure that the entire $24.96 will count toward your winter reward okay so you're gonna basically end up getting twenty five dollars toward your winter reward instead of twenty forty seven okay but you're only gonna end up spending twenty forty seven you understand what i'm saying okay and then you're gonna get back two fifteen dollar up rewards because of the glitch right so you're making ten dollars right off the top of that you're making ten dollars because you're paying twenty you're getting back thirty you're gonna make ten dollars right from that foster grant reading glass deal Okay, and that's going to be your first transaction. Okay, if you have other up rewards and you plan on blending some of these deals together, that's fine. Um, I just did it from the standpoint of someone who hasn't been working on the rent rewards at all and someone who, uh, you know, doesn't want to spend that much out of pocket. Now, I know that seems like a lot, 2047, based on some of the subtotals that you've seen um, people get on the YouTube channel. But the only reason why I'm willing to spend 2047 is because I'm making $10, okay? So, I'm down with that. Now, um, this is how I planned out my second transaction. If you live in the test market yeah. like I do, um, then you're going to have to wait till tomorrow at 6 a.m. or the following day at 6 a.m. to do this, this transaction. Okay, and that's only because your $15 up rewards will not be activating into your account until 6 a.m. the following day. It sucks. But what are you going to do? Okay, so the Burt's Bees scrub is on sale. Um, I saw it online. I didn't check in the store. It says it's $7.99. There's a $3 off one manufacturer's coupon in the Walmart ad. Okay, and that $3 coupon is a manufacturer's coupon. It isn't a store coupon. It doesn't have any size restrictions, but it does say that you have to buy the body butter or the scrub. Okay, so I'm going to pick up four of those bad boys. Four. Okay, and that's going to bring me to th around $32. I believe it's like $31.96. Okay going to use those three dollar off one coupons. I'm going to use four of them. If you don't have four, you only have two, that's still a good deal. Just buy two of the Burt's Bees scrubs. You're just going to have to alter it to what you're doing, all right? So that's going to bring me to about $19.94. I'm going to buy 12 of the Stride Gum. They're on sale for a dollar. When you buy two of them, you get a one dollar up reward. The limit on that is six, so that's why I'm only buying 12 because that meets my six limit, okay? 
Um, I'm going to use six of the one dollar off two manufacturers coupons that came out in the smart source. The Rite Aid ad says it's a dollar off three. Where I live, we got the dollar off two, so that's why I'm doing this deal. Okay. If I had the dollar off three coupon, I don't know if I'd if I'd do it. It's going to be up to you if you're if you want to do that. Okay. So after those six one dollar off two coupons, it's going to bring me another six dollars. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy the 4GE light bulbs oh. now. Your store might only let you buy one at a time because the in-ad coupon does say limit one per person, so they might tell you you can only buy one. If they let you buy four, you're going to need to clip out four of the $3 off one in-ad coupons because they work just like your manufacturer's coupons. They need to actually physically keep that coupon, all right? You're just going to have to pick up a few extra of the ads in the store and clip those out, okay? Then you're going to use four of the $1 off one manufacturer's coupons that came out in the smart source from yesterday. Some people said they got it. Some people said they didn't. Um, it's still a good deal because that, that entire $3.99 is going to count toward that winter reward, even though you use that $3 off one in ad coupon. So if you didn't get that $1 coupon, you're still going to end up paying $0.99 cents a piece. Um, it isn't free, but you're going to get that entire $4 toward your winter reward so it's going to be up to you if you want to do that okay then the cold ease is $3.99 there is no um, coupon that I have found yet for that I'm still going to do a little bit of web surfing and see if I can find one okay it's $3.99 you're going to buy one you're going to get back a $3 up reward the limit on that is one okay um, and the Cadbury mini egg again um, I'm trying to make sure that I get up to um, that full rounded value so I'm going to add in that 50 cent filler all right um, and on top of that, you're only at about $29.93 before that Cadbury egg. So since you want to use those two $50 up rewards, if your store will not, um, uh, you know, mark down your up reward to $29.97, just throw in that filler of $0.50. Cents, it'll get you to $30.43, and then um, you can use those two $50 up rewards. Now, if you look... Back, like I said, the entire value counts toward your winter reward, so you're going to get $31.94 toward your winter reward plus $12, that's uh, $43.94 plus the um, GE light bulbs, so that's going to be $46.92 uh, and then um, you're going to get the cold ease which is going to be 47.91 plus three so it's like 50 bucks um, and then the cadre will round that up toward 51 dollars so that's 51 dollars toward your uh winter reward and this one is um like 25 dollars toward your winter reward so i mean you're getting up there that's like uh, 70, 70 plus dollars toward your winter reward and you only end up spending uh, twenty forty seven, like I said if you start with no up rewards okay so your total out of pocket is going to be $30.43 before your two dollar uh, your two fifteen dollar up rewards bring you to 43 cents alright and then you're going to get back two of the five dollar up rewards from the Burt's Bees you're going to get six of the $1 up rewards from the um, Stride, and you're going to get back a $3 up reward from the Cold Ease, all right? So you are going to lose about um, $11 in up rewards because you started with 30 but you're ending with 19 Now, if you wanted, you could do the Foster Grant deal again. You just have to see if you get another booklet, all right? Um, because this is $19, and like we did this transaction up here, if you take out the Cadbury egg, it's going to be $19 and, uh, 97 cents. So you could do this, um, deal again, all right, and end up paying 97 cents or $1.47, depending on whether or not you're going to pull out that Cadbury egg. You will most likely meet that, um, winter reward goal, and then you will get back to $15 up rewards. So that's... That's a pretty great deal, right? Um, so you can basically finish your winter reward this week if you wanted to by doing this Foster Grant deal and all these deals here. You don't have to do all these ones. These are just the ones I am doing with the available coupons that I have. Um, and like I said, you might not even pay this much if you already have some rewards to spend. So it's a pretty good deal um, if you're just starting your winter reward this week. So again, shout out to Michelle's Frugal Living and everyone who's done it, including Coupon Like a Man, Priscilla, Pinching Pennies with Priscilla, and 29 Luana. All right, you guys have a great day and happy couponing.